It's gonna get loud. Holy cow! The Friedman runt. Sounding absolutely badass in that sound bite already. So what is the Friedman runt? It is a 20 watt head, dual channel. It has three 12AX7 preamp tubes and a couple of EL84 power amp tubes. So with the clean channel, it has a simple three-way toggle bright switch and the EQ and gain and everything else that you see on the front of the amp does not affect the clean channel but the presence knob does because it is a master presence knob. And on the second channel, which is the gain channel, you have your gain knob, and you have a boost to give you more gain. You have a three band EQ, bass, middle, treble, and finally, you know, your typical master volume and again, the presence knob. So on the back of the amp, what you have is your effects loop, a jack for the foot switch, and also you have a cap simulated output which you can use an XLR cable with and go into your interface, mixer or whatever you so desire. And along with that cap simulated output, you have three other toggle switches which can toggle between a pad so you can go between negative 10 dB to negative 30. You can change the axis of the tone going from center to the edge. And finally you have a ground lift. Also another great cool thing about uh, this amp is you don't necessarily have to plug in a speaker cabinet. So you can, there is an internal load in this. So if you use the XLR output, you can just go into your interface and you can practice at a much lower volume compared to hooking this thing up into a cabinet. Because this thing is loud and it really roars. So we're gonna check out the amp. First up the clean channel. And I'm gonna swap uh, very quickly to a guitar with single coils because we'll try it with both. This ESP E2, which has EMG 66 and 57 set in it. And I will swap to this Schecter Nix Johnston for a while with three single coils. And we're going to check out the clean channel. I have a Dispatch Master reverb in the effects loop right now. And this Friedman is going into an orange PPC 2 by 12 vertical cabinet being mic'd up by a Sure SM57. And here is the clean tone. I'm on the clean channel. And the bright switch is all the way to the right. So simple clean channel. I'm going to show you what the bright switch does. So if you put it in the middle, it's going to be in its darkest sounding setting. If I go to the right, it is a medium brightness setting. If you go all the way to the left, it's going to be the brightest sounding tone. So there you go. And I find that I prefer the bright switch to the right. Now I'm going to add a little delay just for a short bit because the clean channel does sound pretty inspiring. Beautiful sounding clean channel. Now I'm going to swap to the gain channel, the second channel, 
and I'm still going to stick to the same guitar. Now with the gain knob rolled back a bit, it has a nice, big, thick. It's very open. It hasn't gotten that level of compression that you would like when you start cranking it up. Just keep playing. Now I'm going to start tweaking the EQ, rolling back the mids a little, kind of up the presence a little. Now I'm going to up the gain. Just so it gives me a little hair. Jesus, this thing is loud. I'm going to quickly swap to the guitar with humbuckers. So before I crank the gain knob back up uh, with this humbucker guitar, I'm just going to go back to the clean channel because I would like you guys to hear the clean channel with humbuckers here. Uh, I have the neck pickup tapped because <laughs> it's pretty intense. Gain channel, so I left the gain up where it was with the single coil guitar, but I backed down the presence. I'm gonna turn on the reverb for a short while.
Now let's share that with a flanger pedal turned on. <laughs> So the gain is pretty much maxed out on this, it's just, you know, it's just uh, like a dot behind from being maxed out. So now I'm going to engage the boost toggle switch here so you can hear the difference in what it adds. So that's going between on, off, sorry, off on and off. So currently it's off. I'm going to turn it on while chugging. This thing breathes fire. So now what I'm going to do is, the Runt is one of those amps where it is surprisingly, you know, it's built to be very, very versatile. Uh, it was really aimed at a lot of session players also, and it should take pedals really well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up my pedal board into the front. So I'll, you know, I'll ha I have a drive here, a Freeman Dirty Shirley pedal a Boss BF3 and the Dispatch Master will be going to the front any moment. So right now I have my pedal board hooked up. So there is a Mojo NFX Rook for my drive, a Freeman Dirty Shirley, a Boss BF3 and the Earthquaker Devices Dispatch Master. And this time I'm going into the front of the amp. And right now I have the delay and reverb turned on. So we're going to just, just uh, I can't talk this morning. So we're going to add effects as we go. some flanger Some drive.
one thing I gotta mention is this amp has so much headroom. Finally, I'm going to add the Friedman Dirty Shirley to the mix. So there you go, the Friedman Runt 20, an excellent sounding beast, super versatile. You can use it in your studio, live, enough volume to keep up with the drummer. At the same time, you can say you're pretty silent, not pretty, very silent for practicing at home by taking the cap simulated out. Extremely pedal friendly, I only have good things to say. Leave a comment down below what you think about the tones achieved here today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon.